Hey, today I'm talking about three horror films featuring Sam Neill. And the names of those three films are Daybreakers, Event Horizon, and Possession. The first up is Daybreakers. This is a 2010 Australian film starring Ethan Hawke and also featuring Willem Dafoe and of course Sam Neill. And the basic premise is in 2009 it's revealed that vampires exist and humanity has to assimilate with them or be food for the slaughter. And so most people are like, yeah, immortality, that sounds pretty tight. And so they join. But the unfortunate thing with that is that if your food all become your competition for food, then you run out of food pretty quickly. And so there's a blood shortage and everyone's freaking out. This movie is silly. It's got its issues. It's got its logic problems. I could poke so many holes in this, but it's a lot of fun. Like it just really works. Like the horror stuff really works. The heart of it really works. I got emotionally connected to the characters. They went on an interesting journey, how they solved problems problems was interesting. Sam Neill is a great business owner, villain type of thing. The metaphors are really obvious, but they're still fun and I like them. The violence is great. This movie's very, very bloody. There are a couple effects that are very not good. Like there's this one with a Jeep on a railroad thing that's but the practical effects are where this movie really shines. Lots of good blood. And the performances are definitely very good. I think what this movie really needed was just like a couple more million dollars. And it could have been a real big hit. I mean, they probably could have used a little bit more ironing out with the plot and stuff. Even though there's lots of issues with the movie, it just works on a good fundamental level. And so I can easily look past all of its flaws for the really fun, interesting time that it is. So would I recommend this movie? Yeah, it's a lot of fun, especially if you like vampire movies or especially especially if you like horror movies it's just a good fun interesting time you will notice the flaws because they're not hard to miss but just trust me you can look past them and have a good fun time with this movie the next up is Event Horizon. This is a 1997 film starring Lawrence Fishburne of course Sam Neill and the basic premise is in the future there is this ship that's gone missing and it was like a big deal but then they've recently discovered a distress call coming from it so this ship is sent out to investigate and then maybe some crazy stuff happens including lots of bloody murder there's a lot about this movie that i liked a lot first the aesthetic is just great it's very similar to the movie alien in good ways i don't think it was just trying to carbon copy it but i think it was like definitely borrowing i think the premise is interesting especially like the kind of the crazier place where they take it. Where this movie truly shines though is its gore. Its gore is incredible. Like oh god. This is a little bit of a spoiler but for those who have seen the movie my favorite one was Jason Isaac's death. It's just so messed up and I'm just like ah. This was a good one. There's also like this flash to this like almost orgy scene. We just get little glimpses of it but apparently this movie actually was supposed to be like 30 minutes longer and the studio had him cut it down and a lot of stuff that they cut was a lot of the more intense gore. And I'm like, damn it. I think with more gore, I could have forgiven this movie's dumb things that it definitely has happened because the gore is just so entertaining and it's messed upness. And then like some other stuff that got cut are like more character backstories, which I think would have also helped like really fill in the movie. I did like the 90 minute runtime that it had, it did feel good, but I do think more would have been better. It definitely gave me vibes of of the Russian film Solaris. That was probably intentional too. And I especially like that too, just cause Solaris is fine. It's just kind of boring. And I think it takes ideas from there and it expands upon them into a very interesting way. So yeah, I would honestly, again, recommend this movie. It definitely has a lot of flaws that I couldn't easily forgive, but I think all of the horror elements of it really justify the experience. Like you're gonna get a lot out of it if you like like gore and horror, like it's good, it's good stuff. If you're squeamish though, don't watch this movie. There's so much blood, so much blood. But if you like blood, definitely check it out. And lastly is Possession. This is a 1980 French slash West German film. And the basic premise is this married couple is breaking up. 
and it's not going well. And then eventually some body horror stuff happens, but it's metaphorical. Okay, this movie's weird because like, I feel like I can say I understood the movie, but I didn't really get the movie. Like I picked up on like the metaphors of stuff, but it just didn't like click for me, I guess in a sense. Like I feel like there's just be some contextual stuff that I'm not like entirely understanding. I don't know. I think what didn't help me is that I was expecting the body horror-esque stuff to happen earlier because I feel like the first time isn't until like halfway through the movie which is a good turning point but it's just like I wanted it sooner and I thought it was gonna get crazy in a different way. It does get bonkers especially like the scene in the subway that's just the whole vibe which is interesting because like I maybe enjoyed that scene but it's also just like its own thing. I don't know. This movie is an experience. I liked it. I definitely liked it but it just I don't know. I was hoping for it to strike a different chord with me and it just didn't quite. It is a horror movie classic so if you are a big fan of this movie and understand it better I'd love to like hear your thoughts on what it's about and understanding the metaphors and symbolism and iconography all that stuff. Like if you can explain this movie to me better I would love to understand it better because it was interesting. I just didn't like get it. So would I recommend it? Not personally but again it is regarded as a classic so maybe Alrighty, now for today's rankings. First up, we got Daybreaker sitting at number 49 in the really like section. And then after that is Event Horizon sitting at number 91 in the quite like section. And then bringing up the rear is Possession sitting at number 134 in the liked section. And this is have a total of 180 old movies so far this year.